Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And at Google I.O. this year, I sat through a big presentation about VR and AR. It got me real excited about it, lots of possibilities. And I also, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture demoing some augmented reality AR. And it was on this device actually, the Zenfone AR from Asus. Now, like I said, AR stands for augmented reality. So when you look at your screen, it will use your camera and you'll see what's in front of you, the grass, the trees, However, it can add images to those things that are in front of you. So for example, if you wanna go ahead and show off a table on the floor, you can go ahead and point your phone at it. It will show the floor, but also put a table on top of it. An example of this would be potentially Pokemon Go. They started to use aug augmented reality within that app. But anyways, let's go ahead and open up the Zenfone AR. Gonna show you what's in the box real quick and also give some first impressions as well. Here is the Zenfone AR from Asus. And on the side here, it says, Clear case inside, screen protector inside, Tango built in, and Daydream Ready VR, so you can use that uh, Daydream headset that Google does sell. So opening up the box right away, looks like we have the screen protector up on the top. So it is nice they did include a screen protector to protect your device. And the phone itself, now it does have some wrapping on it, so you can go ahead and peel that off real quick. And here is a first look at the Zenfone AR. So first thing I noticed was sort of a leathery feel to the back, which has a good amount of grip to it, but I'm gonna go ahead and power on the device and then set it to the side for now and show you what's in the box real quickly. Feels like we got some booklets right here, a SIM ejection tool to also get to an expandable storage micro SD card slot. And it looks like you have a booklet on Daydream itself to let you know about your VR experience that you can have and just user manual etc. Now it also comes with a pair of headphones that do look white. I'll open these up in just a second. Finishing off you do have your AC power adapter and your USB type C charging charging cable. In the box comes a clear case as well for your device. I'm going to snap that on the phone very quickly, show it off and you'll see here a little bit of cutouts. Uh, cutouts for the buttons as well on the top completely open on the bottom completely open as well for your cutouts Completely covered on the left side and uh, Overall really nice. It's included pretty minimal case, but looks good So the headphones come in a nifty case right here, which we can flip up and Here are the headphones and you'll see it actually says extra small small and large Which is kind of funny because you think it would just be small medium large, uh, but they do have extra grips to fit your ear shape. You have an action button on the headphones with a microphone. And then here is just a look at the shape of the headphones that are included. It's always nice when headphones are included in a phone. So that's everything in the box. I wanna go ahead and run through this startup and I'm only gonna talk about anything that is out of the ordinary. So let's go ahead and set up that fingerprint scanner. I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the home button, which is an actual button and it is raised a little bit. I'll give you a little close up of the hardware in just a second, but you'll see here, just lifting and setting my thumb down and finished. I could add more if I'd like to. I'm not going to for the time being. Looks like it comes with 100 gigs of Google Drive storage as well. I haven't signed into my account yet, so I'm gonna skip that for now. And it says setup complete. And here is Discover Tango. So here's an intro to the Tango experience to use your camera to interact with your surroundings. And let's go ahead and start that. And this is actually in the startup. So it didn't take us to the home screen to get into this. Right away there is some sounds going on and it says, go ahead and walk to explore. And you'll see it's actually mapping the area surrounding me using that camera. And there we go. So there is, it's using the area around me to actually project this specific image. So here's just a close up of what it's showing. Of course, using the accelerometer, sensing my movement and showing different things. So I'm gonna exit out of that. So right away, a new system update popped up. I'm not going to install it for now, just going to hit later. It says Google is just a swipe away. So you'll see the Docs app is ready. So if I swipe over, you'll see it'll go to Google Now Cards. But as always in my unboxing videos, I wanna go ahead and jump into settings and then find storage. And you'll see here, out of 128 gigs, 17 and a half gigs are used. So that is right out of the box. Haven't really installed anything yet. I did connect to the Wi-Fi network uh, and of course an Asus software updates available. But next, I wanna give you a close-up of the device. So here's that back, like I said, it has some grip to it. It says Tango Asus, and then here are is the back. So this is the main piece 
of this phone because it has a couple cameras right here, a 23 megapixel camera, and that includes optical image stabilization and three times zoom and an eight megapixel secondary camera. So this will help with your AR experience and then a bunch of sensors as well. And this is just an NFC sticker letting you know it has that. Down at the bottom is a headphone jack, microphone, USB type C slot, and a speaker as well. On the right side here, you do have two volume rockers and a power button, both with the same texture on them. And then up at the top, just another microphone. And then on the left side is that SIM card and micro SD card slot. So you do have expandable storage. Now on the front of the device, you do have two capacitive buttons, a back and a recent apps button, and then a home button, which is physical. So you can hear it click, and it also acts as a fingerprint scanner. And then moving up to the top, you have a front facing camera, earpiece, and some sensors as well. It's also worth noting that that home button is raised just a little bit, which should make it easier to actually find. So you'll see here with a side profile, just very slightly raised above the screen itself. Let's go ahead and test out that fingerprint scanner real quick. So with the screen off, just set my finger on there, isn't doing anything. So you actually need to press that home button and it will unlock it right away. It doesn't even go to the lock screen. It very briefly might, but you'll see here pressing it and having your thumb on it. You can tap it real quick and it looks like it registered it, even trying me trying to actually go to the lock screen. Let's use a different thumb. And you'll see here, it just goes right to the lock screen where you can go ahead and swipe up set your finger down and it works really well. It's very quick. And of course this is an AR phone. So I'm going to go into the Tango app and it loads up a list of apps that you can download, including Wayfair, which is furniture, a gap dressing room, Lowe's Vision. And I will demonstrate these apps uh, in a future video. So click that subscribe button to see that. And of course my apps comes with Measure and Slingshot Island. So I will test those out in the future upcoming video. Uh, coming soon. Now next, I want to go into the camera app, and I am hoping this is going to take some pretty good pictures, especially because for AR to work at least smoothly, you're going to need a pretty good camera. So a little bit of shutter lag, nothing too crazy. Uh, of course, good lighting scenario, so it should be fairly easy. If we jump into settings in the bottom left, you can change all your standard settings, and then the bottom right is a bunch of different modes, HDR Pro, a manual mode, super resolution, a uh, low light picture, night picture, uh, so you see a ton of them. So it looks like ASUS really adds a bunch of different uh, modes for your camera. Anyways, in terms of specs, it has a 5.7 inch Super AMOLED display, which is a 1440p display. So it does look very good. Uh, going into our app tray, you'll see it does have a bit of a skin on it, ASUS's skin. If I jump into settings, Scroll down about, you'll see Android 7.0 Nougat at the moment. Now this does come with a Snapdragon 821 processor coupled with eight gigabytes of RAM. Now Snapdragon 821 isn't necessarily the latest processor. It still was a good processor though. So we'll see how it uh, performs in some real world situations. And that's everything I really wanted to cover. So that would be the Zenfone AR from ASUS. Hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did. Click that thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe, review video coming soon and more on augmented reality, so stay tuned for that. As always guys, thank you very much for watching.